Hi everybody, and welcome to Josiah is Right. So in my last video about writing, I talked about Ray Bradbury and S.L. Stiebel's method of finding your secret story. So hopefully you have file cabinets full of story ideas now, or at least maybe a small notebook with a few things in there. And hopefully those ideas are ready to grow. If not, get Sid's book for more details on the process. You'll find the link below. When you begin writing, the sun is shining, the crickets are chirping, all is right with the world. Although those two things probably not happening at the same time. And then suddenly blackness, darkness. Dun, dun, dun. You are blocked. I've long said that I don't believe in writer's block. I know that's kind of crazy, but I kind of don't. However, there have been times where I find myself stuck, feeling blocked. I don't know how to go through it, but there are ways. You can get through it. It's really kind of easy, but also super, super challenging. I'll also start with a modifier. There could be writer's block, and I think if there is true writer's block or any kind of block in your life, it kind of probably speaks to some deeper damage to your brain or your soul. Um, and that's kind of not what this is. This is when you're kind of stuck on a project. That deeper pain, that deeper hurt, there's more going on. And I do think writing can cure that, but this is more the idea of being stuck as opposed to blocked, which really could be argued as the same thing. I myself have often been stuck on long projects, stuck on short projects, but never felt truly blocked, just kind of stuck. When I felt stuck, the solution was quite simple for me. I would work on another project or shift gears and work on a different project altogether, maybe a different part of that project. When George R.R. Martin talked about writing A Storm of Swords, he mentioned skipping the entire Red Wedding scene, writing the whole rest of the book, and then coming back to it. You could argue that he was stuck, that he needed to alter his strategy and figure out a new way to approach the book. Skipping that scene allowed him to do that. This strategy worked well for me in the past. However, 30,000 words into a new novel, an old story idea, new as a novel, I found myself stuck. I couldn't get past that. I was 30,000 words into it, probably halfway through the story, and Still, as I speak to you now, I'm kind of at an impasse. Having a kid certainly impacted my time to write, but that's not a really great excuse. You'll find time to write. However, I did find myself stuck in this particular story and wasn't quite sure, how do I get around it? Where do I go next? I guess you could say I found myself blocked on this project. I'm in a very down part of the story. Not red wedding down, but it's down. It's a part where the beginning of the story was very much forward motion. Everything was leading us to a certain point. Once that point came, now you're in this sort of slow down where things need to slow down as the story requires them to. But I found I wrote all the way up to that point and maybe 2,000 words since that point. And that's 30,000 words in probably about a month and a half, maybe two months. And then in four or five months after that, well, six months, because that's how old my daughter is. Six months after that, I've written maybe 2,000 more words. That's a short essay in college. This is where you return to that filing cabinet full of papers with highlighter all over them. The highlighted portions can hopefully become new stories, stories that you may or may not find yourself stuck in. Perhaps you skip ahead, the George R. R. Martin approach. Perhaps you jump onto another project. I personally didn't skip ahead on this project. I've actually been working on other things such as YouTube videos. Writing this, for example, really helped me think about the idea of writing and my approach to writing, my understanding of writer's block. I also journal, which is critical to the process. If you are stuck or blocked, write to that fact. Write, I am blocked and try to work through it on paper. There you have it. The secret to beating writer's block is to write. That's it, it's that simple. All you have to do is sit down and write something. You can write, I don't know what to write, but write it and keep writing and fight through it and let the ideas come. Fight that damaged part of yourself to tell a story, to speak your truth. You might write something that is complete junk and you'll have to throw it out, but keep writing. You've written something, that is a victory. The more you write, the better it will get and you return to some story, maybe not the one you originally intended, but you'll find your way through some story. Now go write or write W-R-I-T-E. That's the one, W-R-I-T-E, do that one. Now go do that, go write. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know, how do you overcome writer's block? What do you do to get through it? Challenge yourself to write something that you're stuck on. It can be tough, but try to write through it. I'm gonna do the same and see if I can get through more of that story that I've been stuck on for months now. And hopefully I can become unstuck and can share that victory with you guys. Share your victories with me. Thank you so much for watching. And again, be sure to share with your friends who are stuck and keep writing. And remember, Josiah is right.
W-R-I-T, E. And hopefully R-I-G-H-T about this as well. Not a good speller. Hopefully I got that right.